Today we have an older noisemaker chip, all the way from 1978, the AY38912. While not the most capable chip, it does have the advantage of being easy to use, and a chip that looks like to have been recently manufactured, so it should be available to those of you playing at home. Now let's see what we can do with it. I have some plans to turn this chip into the core of a Eurorack module with full CV control of all the parameters, eventually. But first, I want to get some sound out of it so that I can see if I like it enough to go forward with that. And the simplest way to do that is with MIDI. Since there are only 16 registers on the chip, it should be straightforward enough to map those to sliders on my keyboard using MIDI control change commands. Now let's look at the schematic for the PCB that will be built. This is what I initially designed and what you're going to see built. However, the schematic that ended up working looks like this. The AY3 chip wants a 1.78 MHz clock input signal to produce notes in tune using the lookup table found in the datasheet. Simple, I thought. I can use a 14.31 MHz oscillator and then use a 4024 ripple counter chip to divide the clock down to get the 1.78 MHz I need. Well, it turns out that none of the 4024 chips I have are fast enough to do this either having no output at all at the desired frequency or producing an unusable waveform. The solution to this ended up being already on the board. One of the features of the microcontroller I used is pulse width modulation, or PWM, outputs based off of an internal timer. And with a little software, the PWM output can be set to the desired frequency of 1.78 MHz without any processor overhead. With that complex bit out of the way, this is how the rest of the circuit works. This is really a follow the datasheet textbook design. MIDI comes in here and is connected to the receive pin of the UART of the microcontroller. Microcontroller connects to the AY3 chip through its parallel port with the bus control signals routed to additional pins on the controller. The output of the AY3 follows the example in the datasheet with this part of the circuit acting as an amplifier to boost the output signal to usable levels and a few blocking capacitors to remove any DC bias. And here's the PCB layout. With only a few air wires, I wasn't able to route. I put all the off-board connections on one end of the board so that pin header could be used to mount the PCB into a breadboard for easier use in troubleshooting. Now let's build it. Laser etching the resist for the traces Cutting out the PCB, into the ferric chloride it goes. etched and ready to go. Now with the resist removed, Parts are added.
I think the MIDI connection should go about here. and a generous amount of hot glue to hold it in place. Onto the breadboard it goes. And this is when I found out I had the problem with the 4024 chip not being fast enough to do what I needed. Once that was solved with software, I wrote the rest of the code that I needed. I'm not going to go over any of the specific details, as this would be specific to the microcontroller I used, and there are plenty of other examples on the internet for this chip already. With the software loaded in, let's see what it can do. Remember folks, I'm not a musician. And there you have it, a MIDI implementation of the AY38912 chip. Now to go work on turning this into a Eurorack module. Hope you all enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.